welcome to vlog. We are nesting. I say we're nesting. I'm kind of nesting in my own way. I am squeezing in as many like nice appointments as I can before baby girl gets here. I've got five minutes. Actually, I don't have five minutes. I need to pay for parking because I keep on forgetting to do this and getting tickets, which is not cool. I don't even know if I need to pay for parking here. I do. I'm starting off with a facial with Jo at 33 Downhill. She's so great. It's such a treat. She puts a face mask on and massages my shoulders. And actually, my back's fine. I had lower back pain for a little bit and then it's disappeared. Now it's like my shoulders are tight. So this is going to be so perfect. And then tomorrow I'm getting my nails done. Are these going to be my birth nails? Maybe. Technically, I am full term tomorrow, which is insane. So 37 weeks is full term, which basically means I think baby's cooked. Hoping she stays in till 40 weeks because I've, I'm a wee bit behind on <laughs> what I wanted to have done before she got here. Would it be a disaster if she came today? No, of course not. But me being me and liking things to be just so, it would be really good if she stayed in for a few weeks. It's, I'm at such a nice time because I'm still working. I'm working quite far up unless she arrives early and then I'm out of here. But in between work, like today it's Thursday morning. Technically I shouldn't be getting a facial, but I am because it's flexible working. Okay, this is what I'm doing. I, if I worked literally the way that I had been right up to the birth, I know that I would really regret it. I think in another life I'd probably be on mat leave by now, but these things are not possible. So yeah, I'm squeezing in a <laughs> facial on a Thursday. If you work with me, no you don't. And if you do and you see this, no you've not. Oh my God, I could have just stayed in that cozy dark room all day. Looking like so good. She said that I've got blood, just cause I've got so much blood in my body and a fluid because I'm pregnant. But apart from that, my skin looks good apparently. Very chuffed. Now I need to get home and eat because I'm so hungry. Five hours later. I can't listen to that. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like crying, although I was like crying at the Hunger Games last night as well. I feel like I'm up to high dough with the emotions. I cannot believe how good Beyonce's Lemonade album was. Do you remember? I've not listened to it literally, I think, since it came out and me and my friends were like binge listening to it. But it was when I lived in the West. I lived in the West End of Glasgow and I was at college doing makeup, so it was like 10 years ago. Oh my god, that's right! 2016. It came out, no, that's not right. It came out in 2016 and it was peak makeup for me i was doing freelance but i remember it was like peak makeup i think i worked in the salon and my friends that i worked in the salon with were obsessed as well it was the best i remember going to see beyonce in glasgow when she did that tour that's the best album ever i've literally i'm sorry i'm sorry to say i've really not heard anything from her since i found out that you can have if you've got nothing on your toes like nothing at all you can have your nails done on your hands so in the worst case scenario they can do something and get it off but i'm gonna get my french tips today these could be my birth nails I've got a gel polish on my toes that I need to get rid of, so I've got nothing on my toes at all, which is going to be really grim, but we move. It's fine. I'd rather have hands than feet. <laughs> Guess how many days it's been since I've got my nails done. Poo. I love them. I'm thinking that these... Oh God, I don't know if these are going to be my birth nails or not. I've got one more appointment booked in just in case and if I make it then great fresh nails and if I don't then it's for a very good reason. I woke up this morning, it's Sunday and what I've noticed is I've got more energy in the morning but also the, the nesting thing, I really love it. We gutted the kitchen yesterday, me and Jack both did it after it. Oh my god, like I was tired, I was really really tired afterwards because cleaning's like, cleaning is actually quite like manual labour, isn't it? Got to the kitchen, felt great about that. Today I'm going to get my suitcase out for hospital. I am 30 in June and I know that my parents have bought me a suitcase for my birthday, but I am, I'm a little bit precious about this, right? Would rather wait and get my, like a present on, on my birthday than get it early and not have anything to offer on my birthday. I'm like a 10 year old. So I know that they've got me a suitcase I've wanted for years. So I'm gonna pack a different one. I'm gonna pack, I'm gonna pack one I've already got. I'm gonna pack my away suitcase. Just like a, like a whole doll. That's not what it's called at all. A carry on, a carry on suitcase. And I've written a huge list out of everything that I need. And I'm actually getting there. I'm gonna film a different video that is going through my hospital bag because I, I love stuff like that. I like things to be like organized. And I've like went out my way to pick some of my favorite stuff. Like even just like the little toiletries and stuff I'll need. And then this morning I woke up I did my skincare. I'm going to show you a picture of what my skincare routine looks like just now because, I mean, apart from my dark circles, oh my god, 
I didn't sleep very well last night at all. I woke up with a really like sore scalp. How weird is that? It was like dry skin. I've not had it since COVID, honestly. So I literally got up at five in the morning and went and put the whey scalp serum on. And then this morning I put way more, oh, get it. I put loads of the whey scalp serum on and then I used my hair oil and then hairspray to slick my hair back because I think whatever's going on, it just needs to be marinating in oil after the soothing scalp serum. Anyway, skincare routine, I'll put the picture here. It's quite, I was gonna say it's quite simple. It's not, it's not, it's not the most simple, but my skin's really, really liking it. I'm noticing that my texture is really good. The Skin Rocks stuff is really nice. I mean, Caroline Hines, we knew it was gonna be great, but um, it's really, really, really nice. The perfect balance of luxury and functional. You know it's gonna work, you know it's gonna get the job done, but it feels really nice when you're doing it, which to me, that's like the perfect harmony for skincare. My SkinCeuticals Vitamin C, honestly, that is made a, make a huge difference to my tone and just the glow of my skin. And then my Utan Tan and Water, which, Thank goodness I've got that back in my life because I think it was my iron deficiency or whatever that was making me look sicker than usual. I just looked really drawn in, really, really pale. So that's helping me a lot. What else do you use? Oh my God, my fresh vitamin spray. I use that every morning. I love it. I mean, I'm not super precious about face sprays. I would try other stuff, but I just love that one. I love that it's a can. I just really like it. But that's what I did today. And then literally got changed. And then Jack came back from a run and asked me, do I want to go through to Tillicutri to go to Sterling Furniture? Yes, I do. If you watch my videos, you, you might have seen that we got a new couch recently. I'm returning it. I think that if you're getting a material couch, it would be great and I've seen so many good reviews, but because of the dogs and for longevity, leather is better, a better option. Oh, I can't, I can't get my head around it. I don't find it comfortable. The, all the cushions, Look, I'll just show you. I will go back there because the customer service was amazing. We dealt with it so quickly, but look, it looks really old. We've had this couch for three weeks. This is kind of at a slant, so you never feel like you're actually getting like really comfy. Like it just looks old already. Our other couch, which I'll show you, I'm actually excited to get it back out. But look, it just doesn't look very good. And then actually when I went on the website, I noticed that they don't sell it anymore. And I was like, I think that there's a problem with this. So they returned it, no, problem, no bother. That's our old couch. We got this from DFS, like how many years have we been here? Five years ago. And it's still, like, it's comfy, it's okay. It was a bit broken, but it's actually been fixed since we moved it into here. But see, when you sit on this, it's actually really, really comfy. Whereas this, I just can't get my head around. It looks really nice, but see with the cushions all being separate as well, it just kind of falls to bits all the time. Whereas these cushions are like sewn in. So it always looks like this, it just always looks good. Uh, so yeah, we're returning it. They're coming to pick it up on Tuesday. Couches take like anywhere between like six to 12 to 18 weeks to come. So we're not gonna have it in time for her getting here, but that's fine, we've got our old couch. And I think instead, cause I did, I did blindly buy that because the reviews are amazing. So I was like, yeah, of course it's gonna be great. And like all the measurements, like they make it really easy for you to like make sure that you like it. And even if I'd seen it in a showroom, I don't know if it would have made a difference, I don't know. But we're gonna like actually shop about for a couch this time going like to a furniture shop so we know exactly what it is that we're getting. So yeah, we're going to drive through to Tilkuri, which is that's where I grew up. Uh, I say grew up, I lived there until I was 11 and then I moved to Glasgow. Or I lived there until I was like nine, but there's something about it that's very like significant to me. So that's the plan today. Every time that we have free time these days, I am just really enjoying pottering about the house. The house is starting to look really, really good. The nursery is still a bit upside down, but next week there's loads of like finishing, decorating bits getting done, furniture building. We'll be able to like basically push it all to the side, like put, put the furniture where it's meant to go instead of the middle of the room. And I'm going to Ikea in the middle of the week to get like I've got like a list of stuff we need to get since we've started doing Gusto, which honestly I cannot rave about it enough. We've noticed that we need some like new chopping boards. We've not had new chopping boards in years and years and they're like really old. We need more wooden spoons. We need baking trays. We need a rug for the living room, like a big rug. I'll bring you to the telecourt with me and I'll film a couple of wee clips. I actually do love it through there. Look at this. I can't believe it. I don't think I've ever seen a fold before. He's so small. Hello. <gasps> Is he coming? Oh my god, can you believe how cute this is? Is he coming to see me? I think so. I've actually, I actually feel like having a cry. I've never wanted to boop something snoot so much in my life.
Right, I'm wildly aware that this is going to be like when someone starts explaining their dream to you and you like, don't care. <laughs> I used to go, oh, I can't believe it's shut. Is it really shut? That's the butterfly in. How's <laughs> it tasty? Oh my god, it was the best. Me and my mum would come here and I would get a baked potato. Is it actually shut? I bet it smells the same and everything. Google says it was permanent. Oh, it's so good. It was so good when it was open. And then, see, whenever I said I was from Tillicutri, this is how anyone knew it. So, still got the sign up. Oh my god, this is great. The last time I was in here I was about eight years old. No. Um, I think we found a couch. We found a couch as soon as we walked in the door. Right? Yeah, it's amazing. It's the comfiest thing ever and it's so much better. Do you like the colour of it? No. It's velvet. Yeah. It's velvet. It'll get wrecked. I don't want leather anymore. I'm over it. No. I'd rather clean material. Do you like that one? No, I just like the first one. <laughs> I don't like the round. Look at that. How weird. I don't like the round. No, I don't like the round either. Me and Jack have just spent a wee while slagging these off and it's actually the comfiest couch. Mm. Yeah, good, thank you. It's very comfy. I can't actually believe this. What are the chances that the one day we come through, it's Easter day and they've got wee baby goats and baby lambs. Hiya! Hiya! Oh. <laughs> How many days has it been? Oh my god, so the last time that I spoke to you was Sunday. It's now Friday. We're running out of time. I have just got up and got my makeup all done because I'm filming a couple of things today. I have a growth scan today. We had a midwife appointment yesterday and basically they, they measure like your stomach. The last time that I got measured, I think was at like 36 weeks and I was measuring 36 centimeters. So they just think they see that as normal. I'm technically 38 weeks today. No, no, I am. <laughs> I am. I'm 38 weeks today. So yesterday I should have been measuring 38 centimeters and she was measuring 32. So I've dropped a lot. Which it could be a few things. It could be a few things. She said her head is really far down, which means that it's like her head's engaged, right? Which basically means that she's ready. The midwife said she could come at any time, but because I'm measuring small, it could be because I've lost a bit of fluid, which I thought might have happened. She's been moving loads already today. She's like really, really active today. She's really active every day. But I went to Ikea, right? I'm really sorry about this vlog because it's all over the place. I just watched it, but it's very indicative of what is going on right now. What was I even saying? Yeah, well, me and Jack went to Ikea and I was looking at chopping boards and I felt my whole stomach go super, super tight. And it kind of stopped me in my tracks and I was kind of like that and I breathed through it a little bit and I was like, right, okay, I wonder if that was something, you know. I think when you get to this stage, you're waiting for anything. You're just waiting for anything to happen in case it's like the first signs of labour, I suppose. Then that night I thought I lost a wee bit of fluid, but I didn't know if it was just me pissing myself. And then the next day was, yesterday was my midwife appointment. So she said, how have you been feeling? And I was like, yeah, good. And I was like, I felt yesterday, I thought something was going on, but mm, apparently not. But I am feeling like I don't know if she's gonna come early. <laughs> And part of me, I'm so excited. I'm really excited, but I just really wanted time to get organized. And selfishly, I've got one more week of work left meant to be. And I really wanted a week off before she got here, just so I can be lazy. And I don't think she's gonna give me that time. I really don't, I don't know what's going on. So we'll see. I've also got like work to finish. I'm, I'm trying to get it done today, basically. So we're gonna go for this growth scan. I'm wildly aware that there's like a tiny chance that they could just turn around to me and go, okay, you need to go to maternity assessment or you need to go, you know, if I've lost fluid, then I might need to get induced. You know, you just, you, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I just hope everything, I think everything's okay. She's moving loads, her heartbeat was great, but she's just super low down and I can feel her low down. But then weirdly, like I slept great last night and I've been walking about the house and I don't feel achy or anything. I don't know. It's just so crazy having to like plan for something that could happen any time in the next four weeks. I can't believe that she's going to be here within the next four weeks. The last time I spoke to you, we had been to Sterling. Uh, we got a couch. After all my chat, we ended up with a material couch. It's coming in 19 weeks. I'm gonna have like a 10 year old by the time we have on this couch in the house. And then yeah, I'm just kind of like wrapping up work which is so exciting and this is the first time in a really long time obviously because you never take you never you never have an extended period of time not working really unless you take a sabbatical or you have a kid or you quit your job but it's the first time 
that I'm ticking things off and there's nothing being added. I'm so excited just for my focus and effort to, to go into something else for a little while. I'm going to miss my team a lot but they are so incredible and we've like it's been really great actually the last like few meetings I've had and things have really made me feel good about taking my mat leave. I've not filmed as much as I wanted I swear every time I think it's because I'm still working. See if I had gone on mat leave for Vive already I would have been able to film way more like YouTube and stuff like that but it's just I've just ran out of time even like I had all these ideas about sh like maternity photos that I wanted to take not done any like me and Jack don't have any photos together during this whole thing I just feel like I've ran out of time so insane and then especially because of all this I'm like oh my gosh she can come tomorrow and I'm not ready I'm not I'm not ready to give up my pregnant belly yet I actually could be pregnant for another month but again I feel really lucky I feel really lucky to have had the pregnancy that I've had but yeah the midwife appointment yesterday as soon as I walked and she was like you're she was like you're 38 weeks tomorrow and I said yeah she was like you're very neat like you're you're carrying really small and I was like yeah no I think it's just my height and then when she measured she was like mm, I'm not sure but this is what I'm looking like let me see it's so nice to have my makeup and I feel like a catfish so this is me I wasn't sure if I'd dropped because she feels really low but at the same time um I thought I would be out to here by now and this is just me, this is me relaxed. I just can't believe that there's a big baby in there. Right, I'm gonna go and get changed. I need to do some editing. I've got a meeting at 10. <laughs> I've got a meeting at 10. And then appointments um, early afternoon. Oh my God, I hope that we just go for this scan and they measure her and have a look and they say, nah, fluid looks great. She looks great. Everything's fine on your way. And then she comes on her due date. I would like that, please. Little girl, thank you. Oh my god, this is my favourite Italian takeaway because Caprese doesn't count as a takeaway. Give me it. What's that? A cake? Yeah, Nutella cheesecake. Oh, ho, ho. come back. Come back. With a fork. I look so tired. Clearly, did not go into labour. Everything's absolutely fine. She's just really, really low down. She's measuring great. She's still, she's measuring like 65th percentile, 95th for her legs still. So she's got big long legs. And I think they said that her weight is already 6 pounds 13. So she's not going to be a small baby. I knew that she wasn't going to be a small baby. I was not a small baby. I cannot cross my legs anymore. I don't know why I'm trying. I've got to the rib pain portion of the journey. Uh, my eye is killing me. I don't, there's just not enough room in there. Yeah, I'm just working like normal. Today's Monday. I've honestly filmed this vlog over the course of like two whole weeks because I'm just like juggling this last week of work. We've got stuff getting wrapped up for Vive, stuff getting wrapped up for the JG work, stuff getting wrapped up for the house. We've got like the last of our furniture getting delivered this week, which honestly is just so funny. I googled like the percentages of what time women going to labour um, and like 30% of women going to labour this week for me which is just it's just mad me and Jack were talking about this because there are parts of it like I'm just kind of carrying on like normal and like going out and about like me and Jack are going out for dinner tonight we're going to talk some Finch just kind of fitting in like some of my favourite things to do I think after like Friday I'm not going to be wanting to do much just in case she arrives I'm so ready for her to be here out of my stomach and in my arms <laughs> This is the kind of outfits I've been living in because this belly, which I think I'm not, I know that I'm not carrying super big. I don't know if I've dropped or not. Does it drop right far down? But what if I'm not that like big? We're getting cozy up in here. So we've got our old couch back in. I cannot tell you how happy we are to be able to sit on this. And then one of the new things we got from Ikea was a rug because it just wasn't cozy comfy enough in here. And it's already been great. Oh, it's such a nice day. We've got a little changing mat. This is from Mabel and Fox. I just thought this print is so nice. I'm, <laughs> I'm not going super colourful, like primary colours, but I still want it to be fun. I still want it to be like fun to look at. And there's loads of stuff that I remember getting when I was wee or like looking at when I was wee that I found fascinating and it was stuff like this. So I really, really like this. This both the mat and the little basket for Mabel and Fox. Hi, big man. Oh, you so ready for there to be a wee baby in this house. And we've got a nappy caddy here. This is again, this is from Mabel and Fox. I really like it. We've got wipes, some creams. We've got nappy bags, we've got nappies. Quite prepared here, quite very happy with this setup. This I'm guessing might end up on the floor at some point for changing her, but for now it's quite nice up here. I am really excited about 
our pram. I'll go into it in a bit more detail, I suppose, once we actually start using it, but so far it's great. And then this is actually our like nappy bag, our diaper bag. It's from a brand called Baze, which is Shea Mitchell's brand, but inside we've got, we've actually got her coming home outfit in here. And then just all the usual stuff. We've got nappies, wipes, but there's so many pockets. I really, really like this bag. I'm happy with it. There's like a changing mat in there. We've got muslins in there as well. Outside pocket for our dummy. And then actually I thought that after it's finished being a nappy bag, I'll just use this as a handbag. It's so good. At the same time as ordering that, I got this. This is like a little caddy that also is a bag. So you can have like essentials in there. So if there's an emergency, like nappies, a little spare outfit. So that's both from base and then our buggies, the Fox 5, that's what we've gone for. And we've got the car seat that's by Nuna, but it's a bugaboo car seat. And actually we've got adapters, which means that the car seat can go straight on the buggy. So good. Who is that? Guess what room we're in. I can't wait to show you. It is so nice. It's getting there. There's things arriving literally next week. Like our furniture's arriving three days before she's due. <laughs> but do you know what I realised? She's not, she, she won't even be able to see. All she'll want is sleep, boob, bottle and mean jack, that's it. We're slowly getting things on the walls and stuff. Got some art for our room. Got, what else did I get? Shelves, but I'd really want to show you the books we got. All of these make me so happy. So we've got some real classics. I actually don't think I was ever read The Gruffalo, but we've got Elmer. Queer Spot, Queer the Wild Things Are, this is my favourite. This is my favourite and actually I think it was my mum's favourite as well. Very Hungry Caterpillar, another fave. We've got a few of the Dr Zeus. Dr Zeus is actually incredible when you think about it. And then we've got a tiger who came to tea. Obviously loads more to get. These are a little bit grown up. We need to get like proper like wee baby books for her. And I got some little like art shelves almost. And I think we're just going to put them like one, two, three somewhere in this room. And I'm going to do a proper nursery tour, so I don't want to show you too much, but look! Oh my god! It's actually just so exciting. I think I'm going to leave this little vlog here, otherwise <laughs> you're gonna, it's going to literally be like a month long. A couple of things I said I think are wrong, so I just want to say at the end, I don't think 37 weeks is classed as full term anymore, it used to be, but I think that 40 weeks is full term, so that was my bad. Also, the growth scan and everything since that happened. Talked to me about it on Instagram and I actually realised that a few of my friends have had the same kind of situation where it's actually, it's not super accurate. Um, I've had friends of mine that have been measuring really, really big and had to get induced because of that and then actually they have a perfectly normal sized baby. It's not as like definite, I think. I'm feeling so good, out of breath and tired like normal, but for all my chat about her getting here early, I really don't know anymore. She's comfy as anything. She still moves all the time, but I know I think she's going to give me my wish of a week off. Today is my second last day of work. Charlotte's on her way. We're having a day together, getting loads of creative stuff done. And also almost doing a bit of a handover because me and Charlotte have worked together for so long. Charlotte does a, a, like a lot of the creative work already, but we always kind of do it together. And there's just going to be some things that Charlotte will be doing herself when I'm away, which uh, there's no better person for the job, honestly. So happy that there's so much that's like done and organized and already like finished ahead of me going off. And then, so basically by the time that I'm back, the team really sh like shouldn't have missed me too much when it comes to like all the products that are coming out I'm finished the shoots that I needed to be on I was on and then there's still that next shoot that we're doing I'll be there in August it's just great I feel very organized I vlogged it I can't believe that we're nearly at the end of this this journey I'm just so excited for her to be here life's gonna completely change I'm really excited to share with you a few things my hospital bag there's a list of things that I think have made my pregnancy really nice and like comforting, just things that I've loved that I want to share. I want to share my the nursery when it's done, but I really didn't, I didn't want to show you it before it was done. So that video might come before or after she's here, depending on when she makes her grand entrance. It's honestly just been such a privilege to share the little bits that I've shared. And I really appreciate your like patience because obviously I didn't think I would talk about it as much, but it's literally, it's funny. It's like the only thing that I think about <laughs> and it's the only thing that I'm like preparing for so I really if I wasn't sharing this I don't think I would be sharing much <laughs> so guys thanks for watching my vlog and I'll see you in the next one bye
Oh my god, my heart burns out of control. But it was, it was kind of, oh my god, I've done, is it brutal? For fuck's sake, I'm actually pure, like full, I'm full to the brim. And I need a rug for her room. I nearly said her name there. Cheeky cheeky. Sorry I'm out of breath, that's the story of my life. <laughs> I'm hiding from a guy that just walked out smoking in front of my car. It's pacing.